All right, guys, Andrew here. So we are going to start uh, with our opening night of the Progressive Draft. Um, I do apologize for the background noise. Super Play as a bowling alley is where we play for Monday Night Dice, so it gets kind of loud. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start with my Legacies packs. To open with, oh, actually a Partisan. That's actually pretty good. Which magic? Probably not. It'll probably be tough to pull off the witch magic. Uh, double strike, quick draw, Citadel landing zone, witch magic, okay. I actually like that partisan. Mill is a very real uh, thing, obviously, in limited. That is not great. That is the separatist landing craft, which means I'd have to pull a battle droid in my next pack, which is highly unlikely. Strength through weakness, there's a mill card, superior position, another landing zone and Ancient Wisdom to draw. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that Landing Craft in the pile, because that's not gonna be worthwhile. Oh my goodness, that is a great pull. A. Ayla. Shout out to Double Links guys with A. Ayla. I also like Impulsive, so we've got a Double Strike, a Dive, and an Altar. But the Impulsive and Ayla, Really, really good. That Ayla is a great, great pull. I'm really happy to see that. All right, let's move on to our Way of the Force packs. That is a Sebulba's Pod Racer, which is actually pretty good because it deals an indirect no matter what. Also have a Sebulba Always Wins. We have a Beguile. Beguile should be pretty useful. Nature Charm and a First Aid. So that First Aid may be useful if we get a red character. We at least have Lobot, I suppose, at the very least. All right, so there's a fifth brother. That's not gonna be super useful. So fifth brother, he's 13, 16. Rift Valley, that may be useful. Another Beguile. It is a common, streetwise and change of fate. This is the Dathomir Sphere, Bardotten Sphere, I think. Yeah, Bardotten Sphere. Yep, Bardotten Sphere. Uh, Moss Vesper Arena, Sticky Situation, Righteous Cause, and Testing Procedure. Um, we'll have to see on that one. Let's put it over there for now. Um, I guess that's it. So now we're into the new stuff. So that actually isn't right. What am I missing? Actually missing a pack it looks like it's all right so let's keep going okay so there's a bigs Bigs should be okay let's see we got a bigs a reluctance improvised defense safeguard and aerial advantage Oh my goodness, that's Elite Bigs. That's fascinating, actually. So, Elite Bigs, Vow of Vengeance, I like that one. Shriek, Revised Order, and Intense Fire. Intense Fire might be useful with the Bigs. That's really interesting with the Bigs. Ah, oh, look what we just got. That's a Legendary Han right there. Excellent. Han Solo. We are playing him for sure. At 11 points, he is fantastic. So we have a no questions asked, a drop in, a bloodlust, and an R2. Nothing there is super good, but Han is. So that's really, really, really good. Oh, we just got another legendary. There's a Beckett. I don't know that we can play those two together. He also is 11 though. Uh, then we got an evacuate, first claim, skyhopper, and a deployment. Okay. It's pretty good on, uh, so this is what I think is a really bad rare out of this set, which is Shatterpoint. So blue character only discard an equipment or a weapon from play that costs equal to or less the number of blue ability dice in your pool and the special cost one. That seems not great to me. So we're gonna actually put that in the bad pile. Armored reinforcement, I was so hoping we would get this. However, I haven't seen any vehicles. 
Uh, well, I guess we have a pod racer. Um, Conflicted will be good with Ayla, if we, that's the way we end up going. So that's really good, but we're certainly playing on these two guys, I would think. Okay. And last pack is the uh, Falcon Escape Craft. So we got a Falcon Escape Craft, a Foresight, a Deadly Advance, good investment, and in a bind. Um, the focus is nice. We'll have to see what we end up doing here. So, very interesting what we have in front of us here. So, the Elite Bigs. I guess we'll start with our team, right? So Han, do you remember we have the draft characters at our disposal as well? I'll go ahead and pull those out just to uh, make it easy. So there's Skywalker, Lobot, Ketsu. I won't pull the Jawa out because I don't think we're going to have to go there. I think we're going to end up some bigs. Interesting. So Han is really, really good in draft. 11-15, that special side does a lot of work because you can potentially do both, right? If you have a villain and a hero card in your hand. So Ayla's been eroded to 10, so we need to remember that. But, I mean, we can put Anakin back in the box, in my opinion, because I don't see any reason to take Anakin over Ayla. So, A was our blue choice, if that's the way we go. So, that puts us at 21. Man, there's, it's sure tempting to throw in Tobias. I don't know that we need... Man, we got a ton of characters. We don't actually have much in, the term, in terms of upgrades. In fact, we have virtually no upgrades, so... Thank goodness for our Rivals pack, right? So I think Tobias we don't need yet, but we may end up calling on him in the future. Fifth Brother I think is dead to us. So Bulbous Podracer I think we play. Okay, so let's do, let's start out with this. Because I think that works giving us rainbow for tonight since tonight's a more limited pool so that's 10 21 that is exactly 30 so let's do that keeping in mind that we'll have elite bigs eventually it kind of stinks that we don't have much in the terms of vehicles to use with bigs but um i think I think that's what we're going to go with. Okay, so... Let's kind of clean up our board state here then. So, let's get the other guys off the board. Let's not forget about that Partisan if we need to go back there. I don't think we need any of the draft characters, so we'll put them back in the box. Put Beckett over there for now. Reinforcement we can't use. Other bigs we can't use. Spalbas I think we use. Okay, so I always like to start by going through my draft kit. Man, you know what we really needed was that uh, neutral character battlefield. So right now I don't see a better battlefield than dry fields, because I think Rift Valley, I not think, I know Rift Valley we're not going to be able to use. I don't see any other battlefield. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use this, the landing zone. I think that's the way to go. Because I think we're going to have the money that we need. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So we'll use the landing zone. Use those guys. Okay, so that's handled. Now, I like to go through. So that for sure, that for sure, that for sure, that for sure. Just going through the draft kit at this point. Tinker, Verpine. Emulate's actually not going to do us any good. Fight back is always good. That's resourceful is no good. Um, surprise attack, I don't see any reason not to. Vibrosword, sure. 
supply packs of maybe. That's just another gun. We're not going to be going for that. We're not going to be going for that. So leave the supply pack as a maybe. Okay, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, you know, I do still need to go get another Luke pack. So give me just a second. All right, hopefully this won't change our decision. It's actually a Leia. I still don't think it changes our decision on what to play, because um, she's 12. Man, we actually pulled some really good packs. That Pacify, I think we play. Glancing Shot, I think we play. But we'll put Leia aside. Okay, so actually I'm pretty happy with the packs we drew from a uh, legendary standpoint for sure. I'm really glad to get Han. I actually needed a separate Han just in my own playset. So, okay, so we've got those guys. Now let's, so we know we're playing Sebulba's, right? Let's sleeve that up. Puts us at 11. Play Glancing Shot and Pacify. 12, 13, I think we play the Escape Craft because I like focus and money. 14. Conflicted with Aloe's three damage side seems pretty good. That's 15. Impulsive. Um, we do have Aloe's special side. Let's maybe that one. The Beguiles are expensive. Right, so renewed purpose. Mechanical insight's a no. Foresight's a no. Deadly advance a no. 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 Um, Maybe. No. No. Sky. Oh, sorry, I was getting that confused with the uh, land speed of the one that lets you reroll. So that's a no. First claim, no. No, no. No. Maybe. So after you resolve one of attached characters, character dice showing damage, you can deal one damage to a character. Maybe if I'm in a bind. Intense Fire, we are playing red at the very least, so resolve one of your dice increasing its value by one, showing damage, or by two if you have more red cards. Probably won't have more red cards, but it's no really different than that Fight Back card, um, which is in the draft kit, which we already said we'd use. So, oh sorry, Fight Back is the uh, removal one. Surprise Attack, resolve one of your dice, showing damage, increasing by one. So they're effectively the same card. And this one potentially has a bonus, so if we're playing the one, I think we can play the other. Okay, drop in, no questions asked, revise order. This one's really good, uh, or it's not really good, it's useful. Turn a Dido site has value of one, higher than the value showing on it. If you control the battlefield, return this event to hand. Um, it does let us at least increase value by one, although it takes several actions. So let's go ahead and do that for now. Um, this one, I don't know, I've been kind of burned on that one this weekend. I don't think we have enough vehicles to care about that one, although it's good. Uh, force an opponent to choose a die, then move a different die. Maybe. First aid, yeah, let's go ahead and put it in. That'll at least probably, yeah, it's a maybe. Alter is a double focus for two. Probably won't end up using it, but for now it's pretty good. You know, actually, I'm thinking twice about this landing craft. It is another die that has shields and money. I think we might have to play it. We're a little low on... We're more than a little low on dice cards. We're very low. So I think we play it for now. So what does that put us at? Two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that puts us at 25. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, that puts us at 27. Okay, so let's go ahead and sleeve those up so we don't lose track of them. 
20, 21, 22, 23. We have a lot of high cost stuff in here. I think that's going to hurt us, but we'll have to count on Honda to make some money. We can special chain with Ayla. So that'll be nice. I don't see us realistically pulling this off, but maybe if it wins us a game, it wins us a game, right? Oh, we are forgetting these two over here. I think we go ahead and play the Sphere. At least nothing else for an overwrite. Battle of Vengeance, I think, is pretty good. Increase the value of each attack character's character dice showing damage by one for each defeated character you have. And then with the Supply Pack, does that make one, two, three, four? All right, so that's 30. Let's save up our guys here. Han. Han, Biggs, and Ayla, huh? I mean, that's 30 health. I think that's... Not bad. The plus two's got me a little worried, but Ayla, man, what a pull. Han, what a pull. That's a pretty good team. Okay. So, I think that'll do it. Let's give it one last look through and make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. I'm sure somebody's screaming at me right now from the video, but... I'm not seeing anything. I mean, that might be useful in the future when we get more packs. That one too. And then... Yeah, I just, I just don't see it with that card. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't see it. I'm sure it's one of those things where it's useful when it's useful, but... Okay. So, actually... Pretty good set of packs. I'm actually happy with it. I'm a little worried that we're a little light on dice cards. But uh, other than that, let's uh, see how it goes tonight. Um, we'll start off with this team and we can change it up as we go if we have to. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Hey guys, Andrew here again. So I was doing the cleanup and I did realize that I must have missed it, but obviously I did open three packs and that fourth pack that I grabbed of Way of the Force is invalid. So out of that, I had pulled a Leia, which we're not using, but we are using the um, Pacify and the Glancing Shot. So both of those I need to pull out because those are non-legal cards because I made a mistake. So we will go back and figure out the two more cards that we're going to play instead of those two. So I apologize for the mix up, my count just got off. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in superior position. Uh, it's one more removal card. Um, safeguard may be what we end up going with. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So. Apologize for that, super embarrassing to have that happen on recording video, but uh, I got off, so I don't know what else to say other than I'm sorry. So that error has been corrected. I'm glad I caught that before we played any games. Um, so there we go. That will be our deck for tonight. Minus Pacify, minus Glancing Shot. We'll make sure to get Mike and Eric their Leia die back, and um, that'll be it for tonight. So wish me luck. Thank you much.